It's an old style roller dam that was put in back in that era. And despite the function of it, it had a lot of drawbacks. The Iowa DNR is working with a lot of cities and counties to try to modify or remove these roller dams across the state of Iowa because of their danger, but also because they're very detrimental to the ecological health of rivers like the Wapsipendekin or even smaller or larger rivers. Back in 2015, the master plan for the Pinnacle Ridge Park really started to address this question of how do we modify the dam to solve several main issues. Uh, one of the issues, like I mentioned, was the safety of the roller dam, the recirculation currents that could really trap people just south of the dam. The other issue would be the ecological block to this uh, dam. It, it just keeps species of fish and mussel passage from happening because they can't get past the dam. Water quality um, has everything to do with the fishery of the Wapsipendekin River. Our partners with the Iowa DNR and U.S. Fish and Wildlife um, consider the Wapsipendekin River very important. Um, besides about 800 different aquatic species in this river, we have a, a federally endangered species called the Higgins Eye Pearly Mussel. And mussels, they travel when they are young larvae on the gills of fish. Um, and if fish cannot pass a certain point in a river, it keeps the, the mussels from being able to expand into their native territory along the Wapsipinican River. And then third important goal is outdoor recreation. It's such a support to small communities like Central City. We had the opportunity to um, do fish and mussel passage along with um, paddle sport and increasing the fishery for anglers and fishing opportunities here locally. This took a lot of work on engineering, study of the river. It was obviously a no-rise uh, flooding impact that needed to be permitted. And then also our, our engineer did a study on pool depth above the dam. It was critical to keep a certain pool depth to facilitate outdoor recreation at Pinnacle Ridge Park. Uh, once those pieces were in place, they got to a certain level of design, and then we engaged the permitting process through the um, Iowa DNR for the Army Corps of Engineers and that process really took a couple of years to finish with the design. The public input in the design process, we really slowed that down to make sure we got it right. Once we hit go on the construction, our contractor Boomerang was able to start really around December of 2022 and then finish this project here in the early summer of 2023, which was really sooner than any of us expected. So while the drought is very serious and detrimental to a lot of things that happen and need to happen in Iowa, it really was perfect timing to finish this project. You really needed that low flow to be able to actually work in the river, set the boulders, do the grouting, and then do the testing to make sure that the water levels in each pool were to the design level. The leadership of Central City gave us access to stage equipment and materials for this project in the park, um, so they've been a great partner. There's a lot of rock in there, and although we took away the, the recirculation and the danger from that, from the old roller dam, um, it's still very important for the public to use this in a very safe fashion. You know, that, that means when you're kayaking out here, you want a helmet on, you want a life jacket on. You also want to respect your own level of, of skill in a paddle sport as you grow into it. After the project was done, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife were able to actually bring down um, the smallmouth bass and release into this river that were inoculated with larvae of the endangered species, the Higgins Eye Pearly Mussel. Um, they let them go here just south of the project and also at our Wapakata natural area. Total cost of the project was about $3.4 million. While the concept for this project was in the works before funding was available, the passage of the 2016 Water and Land Legacy Bond really allowed the organization to move forward in searching for alternative funding to put together a funding package for this project. Um, it let us leverage funding sources from our partners like U.S. Fish and Wildlife and the Iowa DNR and we were able to secure $620,000 in grant funding to supplement and complement the uh, bond funding and the other capital funding from Lynn County. This really is an amazing story of public support. Um, the passage of the Water and Land Legacy Bond in 2016 uh, by 74% of the public really shows the support in Lynn County for water quality and outdoor recreation projects. Without that support and bond funding, this project would not have been able to happen to go out and leverage other alternative funding through um, public and private partnerships. 